good morning, everyone. Happy Labor Day. Glad you can join us. I know it's a little early in the morning on a day off where, or a day that many of you are off. I see Arlene's in Arizona, so traveling mercies to you, Arlene. Uh, I think he went from one heat to another heat, and I would venture to say it's probably a little cooler there, just a little bit. But uh, it's good to have you this morning. Uh, hope you got your coffee this morning. I tell you, breakfast of champions, double espresso with uh, orange juice. It's bomb. It's bomb, I'm telling you. Well, um, this morning I was contemplating, I've entitled this morning, uh, The War Within. And what's interesting is... Paul's really just kind of being honest with this thing in his life that he's struggling with, which we all struggle with. It's the war within us. And, and um, he, he said this uh, in Romans chapter 7, verses 21 through 25. And I'm reading out of the New Living Translation because it just kind of brought some really cool vibe. Uh, the, 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 the words kind of just articulate, I think, real simple for us to understand. It says this, Paul says, you know what, I've discovered this principle of life, that when I want to do what is right, I inevitably do what is wrong. You know, how many of us can relate to that? You know, I mean, th there's a principle in life. There's things that I want to do right, but inevitably I do wrong, right? You know, I love God's law with all my heart. You know, I think as believers, do we not really deep down, I mean, we really love God. So we love God's word. You know, the word is true to us, right? It, it feeds our soul, right? He goes, he goes on to say, but there is another power within me that is at war within my mind. This power makes me a slave to sin that is still within me. Oh, what a miserable person am I? You know, have you ever felt that way? You know, the NIV says it this way. What a wretched man am I? What a wretched man. I mean, that's a really strong term in English, right? What a wretched man. What a miserable person I am. And, and think about it. You know, when we're talking about being miserable, um, you know, there's nothing that makes us feel more uncomfortable than knowing we messed up, right? I mean, we have to own some of our stuff, right? I, I think too often in life, we're not willing to own our own junk. And that's where we get in trouble, is that we don't realize that part of our misery is we don't own our own. And so uh, Paul says, you know, what a miserable person am I? You know, the things I know I should do, I don't do. And the things I know I should do, I don't don't do. What a wretched man am I. He goes on to say, uh, who will free me from this life that is dominated by sin and death? You know, uh, again, let's be honest that our lives are just battling constantly with the sins and pressures of life, right? We accept things and we do things that we know deep down uh, is either contrary to God's uh, word or we just know it's not the right thing to do, right? And so then where's our hope at? You know, and I was thinking this morning as I came outside here, typically what will happen is I'll have my time with you and then I'll water my plants. You know, uh, I planted a bunch of plants this season. And as you know, I got some tomato plants and, and some flowers and uh, shrubs and things like that. And I came up this morning and all my beautiful plants have taken a true beating over these last few days with this extreme heat. And as much as I've watered them, they still took a beating. You know, I look at it and my heart's just broken because, you know, there's a lot of money out here, you know, that is getting lost and I'm not sure they're going to recover. And they were beautiful when I planted them and they were growing and they looked so good. But then all of a sudden the heat was just unbearable. The sun just baked them. And, and I was thinking, isn't that a little bit like our walk with Jesus? We're doing all the right things, it seems. It's, it's water, we're watering our soul. Uh, these plants are, uh, that are, are, are wilted uh, is not from the lack of watering. I watered them. It's just that the, the intense heat from the sun just took a toll. 
And I think, isn't that the way it is with our Christian walk sometimes? We seem to be doing all the right things. You know, we're reading our word, we're going to church, we're fellowshipping, we're being encouraged, but it just seems like we still are taking a beating, you know? And, and there's a war outside and there's a war inside us. And as much as we want to water our souls, sometimes if we're not careful, we allow the outside world to beat us down. And then when we're beat down, then we allow more of that sin nature to come out of us. And after we've let it out, then all of a sudden we're miserable because we know we messed up. But I love how he finishes here, Paul says. He goes, thank God. The answer is in Jesus Christ our Lord. So you see how it is. In my mind, I really want to obey God's law. But because of my sinful nature, I am a slave to sin. And you know what's interesting about this is we know that when we came to know Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, uh, he broke that bondage. And, and some people rifle back and forth, whether Paul's talking about before conversion or after conversion, uh, I'm persuaded like so many that he's, he's talking about life in general, even as a believer. And he, he says, his essence is this, I'm a slave to sin because I'm in this mortal body. I'm still dealing with this sinful nature of mine. I'm a slave to that. But understand, it's a willful slavery because Jesus broke those bonds in our lives. So we can say no to sin. You know, this doesn't give us a free right to just continue to do whatever and think God's grace is sufficient. God's grace is sufficient, but understand, he has given us liberty. He has set free the captives, the Bible says. And so when you and I sin, we sin willfully. But it's because of that connection to our sinful nature. Does that make sense? That that even though we're, we're, we're saved and sanctified and set free um, by the blood of Jesus, we're still in this mortal body, and, and this mortal body has our fallen nature. And so that's the war that Paul's talking about. And so much like today, I'm going to, after I finish with you, I'm going to try to make some uh, relationships with uh, the, these plants, and I'm going to try to get them back up. I'm thinking about maybe putting a, 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 a shade or some kind of netting over the top to kind of keep the direct sun off them, because I think that's probably what happens is the direct sun. And I think it's the same thing with you and I as we deal with our nature, is we, we've got to put protections someplace in there that helps us to prevent the, 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 the inner part of who we are to, to, to dominate, that, that sinful nature to dominate our lives. And so let me help you with um, a, a prayer today, but also to cover yourself with God's Word and do your best to surround yourselves cover yourselves with things that that will lift you up instead of tear you down because i'll tell you it doesn't take long to see the world around us to tear us down and i tell you even as a spiritual leader i sit there and i every day off and on throughout the day i glance at the news and the things that are going on and i'm telling you i'm worn out i'm worn out i don't think my household has heard the f-bomb as many times as it's heard uh uh, in, in these last six months than during all this stuff that's gone on. But you know what? God is on the throne. And God is on the throne in your life. And so you're more than a conqueror because of Jesus Christ. So be encouraged today. Be encouraged today. Work, work the work. Fight the fight. Your battle is won because of Jesus Christ. And you will succeed in life. Amen? Let me pray for you. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you and I praise you today. Father, I praise you because I know, Lord God, that we have the victory because of Jesus Christ. Lord God, our sinful nature, as Paul says, you know, what a wretched man, what a miserable person I am. Lord, I recognize there's moments that I miss that mark and I'm so upset at myself because I know I did wrong. But Lord, how wonderful it is to know your grace is sufficient. And so I pray for everyone here, Lord God, that they will see and witness your grace is sufficient, not sufficient for them to go on and continue to do things that are Dis, uh, uh, disruptive to their uh, spiritual life or disobedient to your word but Lord God that when they do f fall or they misstep that they'll simply confess their sins and your grace covers them how wonderful your grace is 
And Lord God, I pray your blessings upon everyone here, Lord God. Bless us as we gather together uh, at this moment and give them a great day today, Lord. If they're going to work or if they're just holidaying today, I pray, God, just keep us all safe. Keep us all healthy, Lord God. And Father, we just thank you and praise you, Lord God. Be with them now, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day today. Stay safe, stay hydrated, check on those that maybe their health are a little compromised just to make sure they're okay in this heat. This heat's been unbearable. Um, and so I'm going to go and try to take care of my plants and see if I can do something. I was pretty, pretty bent out of shape this morning because they're so beat up. But uh, with a little loving consideration, hopefully they'll come back. So God bless you. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow, 714 Prayer. Take care.